imagine. Hello. Imagine. Thanks to the media and propaganda have been created or destroyed social movements, justified wars, temperate financial crisis, encourage stupidity, promote a sense of guilt, promote destruction or construct artificial programs and then magically solve them just are some of these tactics. And you are a target. I'm a target. We are a target. Do you want to protect your freedom? Today, Noam Chomsky and his 10 strategies of manipulation by the media. And the strategy of destruction. Keep the public busy, busy, busy. No time to think. Please give yourself time. Don't be a slave. Give yourself time to think. Breaking brain. Breaking brain, your time, your freedom. Stay with me and I tell you something more. Noam Chomsky, 10 Strategies of Manipulation by the Media. Chapter 1. The Strategy of Destruction. The primary element of social control is the strategy of destruction which is to divert public attention from important issues and change determinated by the political and economic elites, by the technique of flood or flooding continuous destruction and insignificant information. Destruction strategy is also essential to prevent the public interest in the essential knowledge in the area of the science, economics, psychology, neurobiology and cybernetics. Chapter 2. Create problems, then offer solutions. This method is also called problem reaction solution. It creates a problem, a situation referred to cause some reaction in the audience. So this in the principle of the steps that you want to accept. For example, create an economic crisis to accept as a necessary evil retreat of social rights and the dismantling of public services. Chapter 3. The Gradual Strategy. Acceptance to an acceptable degree, just apply it gradually, dropper for consecutive years. That is how the radically new socio-economic conditions, neoliberalism, were imposed during the 1980s and 1990s. The minimal state, privatization, flexibility, massive unemployment, wage, and do not guarantee a decent income. So many changes that were brought about a revolution if they had been applied once. Chapter 4. The strategy of deferring. Another way to accept an unpopular decision is to present it as painful and necessary. Gaining public acceptance and the time for future application. It is easier to accept that a future sacrifice of immediate slaughter. First, because the effort is not used immediately, then because the public masses is always the tendency to expect naively that everything will be better tomorrow and that the sacrifice required may be avoided. This gives the public more time to get used to the idea of change and accept it with resignation when the times come. Chapter 5. Go to the public as a little child. Most of the advertising to the general public use a speech, argument, people, and particularly children's intonation, often close to the weakness, as if the you were, were a little child or a mentally deficient. The harder one tries to deceive the you were look, the more it tends to adopt a tone infantilizing. Why? If one goes to a person as if she had the age of 12 years or less, then, because of suggestion, she tends with a certain probability that a response or reaction also devoid of a critical sense as a person 12 years or younger. Chapter 6. Use the emotional side more than the reflection. Making use of the emotional aspect is a classic technique for causing a short circuit on rational analysis. 
and finally to the critical sense of the individual. Furthermore, the use of emotional register to open the door to the unconscious for implementation or graphic thin ideas, desires, fears, and anxieties, compulsions, or induced behaviors. Chapter 7. Keep the public in ignorance and mediocrity. Making the public incapable of understanding the technologies and methods used to control and enslavement, the quality of education given to the lower social classes must be the poor and mediocre as possible so that the gap of ignorance it plants among the lower classes and upper classes is that it remains impossible to attain for the lower classes. Chapter 8. To encourage the public to be complacent with mediocrity, promote the public to believe that the fact is fashionable, to be stupid, vulgar, and uneducated. Chapter 9. Self-blame strengthen. To let individual blame for the misfortune because of the failure of their intelligence, their abilities or their efforts. So, instead of rebelling against the economic system, the individual out of the sfilada and guilt, which creates a depression, one of whose effect is to inhibit its action, and without action, there is no revolution. Chapter 10. Getting to know the individuals better than they know themselves. Over the past 60 years, advances of accelerated science has generated a growing up between public knowledge and those owned and operated by dominant elites. Thanks to biology, neurobiology, and applied psychology, the system has enjoyed a sophisticated understanding of human beings, both physically and psych psychologically. The system has gotten better acquainted with the common man more than he knows himself. This means that in most cases, the system exerts greater control and great power over individuals, greater than that of individuals about themselves. I finish it. What do you think about the strategies of manipulation by the media by Noam Chomsky? Do you agree or do you disagree? Big, bigger, the biggest, only one company in the future. It's good or bad idea? What do you think? It's your time to think. Take care and see you next time.